Raven Elise TV. Hey guys, what's up? It's Raven, and today I am going to show you guys how I straighten my hair. This is going to be kind of my updated hair straightening routine using some new products and some new tools. My new set of tools from Bellamy. If you saw my hair extension video where I did the top knot using my clip-in hair extensions, you saw that I got these new tools from Bellamy. They're really cute, hot pink, black, and gold. And I was super excited in that video about this chasing comb, and I wanted to try it out. So I'm going to be using all that stuff in this video and I'm also going to be using some products from Sally Beauty Supply by the brand called Beyond the Zone. So yeah, if you guys are interested in seeing how I got this straight look, then just keep on watching. Okay guys, so two things before I get into the actual hair straightening. Number one is the damage on my hair from bleaching it so many times. And number two is the damage and just the overall thinness, especially around my temples. From my experience with postpartum shedding, I did shed a lot after about four months after having my daughter. So the products that I use to help with both of those problems are these products by Shea Moisture. These are the Shea Moisture Strengthen, Grow and Restore products. And these all have Jamaican black castor oil and shea butter and peppermint and keratin in it, which are all just really good ingredients for damaged hair, especially to help grow your hair. So I like to use the shampoo, the conditioner, the oil drops that go directly on your scalp and also the edge control from this line. This is not sponsored or anything. I bought all of these with my own money because I actually heard really good reviews about it. And I do definitely think that it has helped with my hair overall and helped grow the hair back around my temples, definitely. In case you guys have been wondering what I've been doing, especially for my postpartum shedding, that is the main stuff that I use. I also do take hair, skin, and nail vitamins, as well as just a regular daily vitamin. And of course, having a healthy diet and drinking plenty of water always helps too. So the first product that I'm using is called Smooth Criminal by Beyond the Zone. This is going to be the product that I use to prep my hair before straightening it. And I'm starting with damp hair that has been freshly washed and I'm just spraying this product all over my hair kind of a lot actually and really letting it soak into my damp hair this is basically for detangling but it also really helps smooth frizz in the final product so I'm applying that and then I'm going in with my Denman brush and this brush is one of my must-have products you need this specific brush if you're a curly girl I use it in my curly routine because it really helps to define your curls but I also use it just anytime that I'm detangling my hair because I can detangle my hair so fast with this brush all I have to do is part my hair on either side I don't even have to part my hair into sections I know everybody's hair texture and density is different but with my hair texture this brush just glides right through as you can see I'm basically brushing through my whole hair in just a couple of seconds and my whole hair is detangled so if you are a curly girl no matter what kind of texture you have you need one of these brushes just trust me it will definitely come in handy so the next product is super important it is a heat protectant spray I've actually been using beyond the zone heat protectants like ever since I first started straightening my hair I used to use the one that came in like the little red and orange spray bottle this is just a different like newer one that they came out with and it works just as good so I spray that all over my hair when it's just parted down the middle but then I'm also going to be spraying more of it throughout the seconds of my hair as I go along when I'm blow drying I just like to really make sure that I'm putting enough heat protectant on my hair so my hair definitely will not get as straight as I want it unless I blow dry it first so I'm actually using this really cute little mini blow dryer that came in my Bellamy kit I will have it linked down below if you guys are interested it's so cute and it's actually much easier to use because it's smaller so it's not as heavy so I don't know it just makes it easier to me and it's just as powerful to me so anyway I'm using this little mini blow dryer with my Denman brush and I'm just starting off with a smaller section so a little more than half of my hair is clipped up out of the way and I'm just using the brush to guide the blow dryer down my hair just to really blow most of the dampness and moisture out of my hair I'm gonna go back in again with a different brush and really smooth over it with the blow dryer but this is just to kind of mainly get it dry first and get it kind of going in that straight direction Direction. If I just let my hair air dry in its curly state or if I just blow dry it in its curly state, 
it's going to be so curly that when I try to go over it with a straightener, it's just not really gonna get straight. So I always like to kind of blow dry my hair straight first. So I'm showing you guys in real time right now the speed that I go with this step. And honestly, this hair straightening method is my fastest method that I've ever done. All together from start to finish, from wet to straight, it takes about an hour total, which is pretty fast for me. And anybody out there who has really curly hair, you know that it can take forever. But to go from wet to finish in an hour, I think is really good. Um, but all the steps are really important and it's important that you kind of like take your time with each step just so that you're not having to go back over it so many times with the straightener in the end. So anyway, yeah, but I promise you guys, this is a really fast method. So once I've gotten that section mostly dry, I'm gonna go in with a different round brush. This is the brush that most people use when they're doing a blowout when they want their hair to be blown out straight. So my hair is not gonna get silky straight just with this, I do have to use an actual flat iron, but this is gonna get it much straighter when I do use a flat iron. So I like to take my time with this step and really try to blow my hair out as straight as possible. I feel like this is better than just going over your hair a million times with the flat iron. So this really helps get a nice, super straight result in the end. So I basically just repeat that same process all over my head. I really don't use too small of sections. I use pretty chunky sections because with the brush guiding it, you can use bigger sections. And yeah, you can see I make really awesome, really flattering faces when I'm doing it. So yeah, first just getting most of the moisture out with the Denman brush and then going back over everything with the round brush just to get it as straight as possible with the blow dryer. And this is what it looks like when my hair is all completely blown out it looks kind of crazy so from here I'm just going to part my hair and section it off again and I am going to be using more heat protection spray like I said I just like to spray it as I go along to fully make sure that I'm protecting my hair so I'm using this chasing comb which also came in my Bellamy set and it's pretty cool because it has this little clamp so it really holds onto the hair for you which makes doing the chasing method actually much easier once you get the hang of it and with the chase method you're able to use bigger sections of hair at a time and you still only go over the hair once with a flat iron and it gets it so straight because you're smoothing it out with the comb as you go along so the flat iron is able to straighten each individual strand of hair smoothly if that makes sense so for this part of my hair I just did two sections that you just saw and I only did one pass on each section and I'm already done like it's so fast so basically with just four passes with my flat iron so just four large chunks I'm almost done with like a third of my head already so I'm just showing you again on the other side what I'm doing with these two sections with just one pass on each section you can see that it gets my hair bone straight and silky so I'm just gonna speed it up and show you guys some more sections just so you can see the size of the sections that I'm using there's really no need to do teeny tiny sections when you're doing this chasing method I'm actually picking up sections of my hair that are the same width of the flat iron itself so whatever I can fit on the flat iron I'm gonna use that size section just to make it a lot faster and when you're using the chasing comb it really still gets it totally straight so for the top section of my hair this time I'm doing a middle part so I'm just parting it and then I'm still using the chasing method for the top section of my hair but when I do get to the top I do tend to go over the pieces a few more extra times just to make sure that I'm getting it totally totally straight and really getting the root and then also I like to bump the ends so I do go over it a few more times just to get that perfect little bump at the ends but this is really the only part of my hair that I will really do multiple passes over my hair and I just like to really take my time with this part just so it can look polished for the finished product so the final step for me is hairspray I like to use anti-humidity hairsprays this one is by beyond the zone as well and I spray hairspray just to try to make my style last as long as possible when I straight in my hair I like to keep it straight for at least a week so putting hairspray does help elongate it as much as possible I don't do too much because I do like for my hair to still have a lot of movement and body but after that I'm pretty much done 
since I do like to keep my hair for like a week if it does start looking oily or you know get greasy roots throughout the week I will use dry shampoo and this one by Beyond the Zone is meant for dark hair since my roots are dark I like this one better some other dry shampoos it leaves like a white powdery residue but this one doesn't because it's meant for dark hair so I just spray some of this and it really kind of refreshes my hair and I can wear my hair straight for much longer without having to actually wash it and do it all over again so yeah guys this is what has been working for me recently to straighten my hair the fastest and just most efficient way if you guys are interested in any of the products that I mentioned the Shea Moisture products to help grow your hair the Bellamy tools the Beyond the Zone products to straighten your hair I will have a full list in the down bar so just click the link in the down bar to see the full list of all the products and yeah hopefully you guys enjoyed this video if you did give it a thumbs up and I will see you guys in my next one bye